Hey, good morning. This is day three of the journey. And it's a perfect day to talk about this. Last night, I knew I was going to be coaching a baseball, a doubleheader baseball um, games, two games. And um, that it would be ending late and today would be a struggle. And let's talk about that struggle because in the, in the beginning, um, it's not just in the beginning. Actually, it's throughout... Um, the entire journey you're going to have days that just don't feel like doing it and because of that and it it's going to be because maybe you got to bed late maybe you did something um the night before um and you're just not going to feel like it and you know there's a couple things lessons to learn in that in this situation where one um Start to control what you can. Last night I couldn't control this because I had committed to, to coaching this team. And I knew that when the alarm went off this morning that I was going to roll over. And to be frank, I did hit the snooze button. One time. And then got up and now I'm here. Getting ready to, to go in to... Uh, um, this, is, this is more of a... I'll call it a cardio day. It's more of an interval day. Um, but understand that you're going to have these days. But what, where you win is when you get up anyway. And as we're just getting started, as you're just getting started, understand that, that you're going to have these days. You're probably going to have a day or two where... You don't get up, especially in the beginning, if you're just getting started with this. Flush it. Let it go. Um, and get up the next day. So the challenge is going to be many days that you have where you just don't feel like doing it. Well, do it anyway. Because when you do it anyway, that's a bigger win than the day that you were motivated to go. That is the day you're probably going to be instilling this habit because you did it when you didn't want to. And again, in the beginning, you're going to feel pain. But here's the thing, guys. If you're, if you're obese or if you're over, overweight, you're going to feel pain regardless Think about the pain you're going to feel in 10 years if you carry an extra 50, 60, 100 pounds. If if you think, even at the weight you're at now, what if you had to carry, wear a vest that weighed an extra 50 pounds? How would that feel? How much pain is that going to cause? What's that going to do to your joints? And... What's going to happen if you don't do anything? So it's these little victories that you have when you get up and you do it anyway. Because that is the difference between those who are success successful at this, this weight loss fitness journey and those that are unsuccessful. And that's the little victories of getting up and doing it anyway. And... You're going to have a few defeats. It's going to happen. You're going to have circumstances where you may not be able to work out the way you want. So you adjust on it. I'll have one of those probably in about a month. And we'll talk about it when I get there, if I remember to. Um, and pay attention to what you did the night before as to what makes you feel bad. Is it a meal that you ate? Pay attention to those those foods that, that cause you to feel a certain way. Um, because your body is telling you something. So, no grand words of wisdom today other than do it anyway. If you're struggling to get started today, or if you're struggling to, to in day three, do it anyway. Because... As I'm doing this, this is much of a, as much of a challenge for me in a different way 
and it's to be consistent with doing these videos and being here for you guys. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, um, well, you're always going to see it on YouTube, but um, I'm going to also share it on Facebook. If this is something that you want to be a part of and want to have accountability, um, just message me in here on, on YouTube or, or on the Facebook page. And um, also be looking forward to a website that's going to be coming. It's going to, that website is going to be more in detail of, of, of complete fitness, the road to complete fitness, not just physical fitness, but beyond that to a, a getting into the beliefs of a better world and how we can actually get there. Um, what do we have to do to do that? So let's go get her done. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four.